everyone and welcome to Food Review UK Fusions. My name's MJ and today we are reviewing a ridiculous product. It is April Fool's Day so I'm uploading this in the morning of April Fool's Day which totally counts. Now let's talk about the fruit bag. That's the wrong way. Now let's talk about the fruit bag from McDonald's. It's uh, It serves a purpose I suppose but what that purpose is is probably pointless so it doesn't really it, apples and grapes in a bag and who orders this who gets this health conscious parents why are you going to mcdonald's don't like and like you see the happy meal adverts and it comes with like a bottle of water a fruit bag and like some carrot sticks and it's like there's literally nothing happy about that meal whatsoever that's a depressing meal that's horrifying if you go to mcdonald's and you order a fruit bag for your child. You are a psychopath. You are child abuse. You are actually abusing your child. It's mental. So, I'm not happy about it, guys. So, it's April Fool's Day. I thought I'd do something a bit zany and a bit weird. I won a fruit bag from the old Monopoly promotion. So, I thought, yeah, I'll use it. And I bought a plain cheeseburger. And so I've made the McDonald's fruit bag cheeseburger. I actually filmed a behind the scenes video on my vlog channel showing how we made it, but here's a snippet. So food review watchers, I'm filming this on my vlog channel, you can head on over there to check it out, but here we go, we'll assemble the creation, so I've got a plain uh, cheeseburger here. I'll take the, the bun off on the bottom, so that it doesn't, you know, so it's easier to pull off, because the cheese, easier to pull off, that's rude, the cheese is on the top, so. Right, there's the uh, McDonald's fruit bag, the most pointless product in existence. Apples and grapes. So we just pour it on there. Um, I, don't, actually, I don't want to go overboard. Let's try and be neat about this. Yeah, a few grapes in the middle. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Probably get rid of those bits. Right, let's see how that goes. Let's see how it goes. Bye -bye. Right, and then the bloody bap's falling apart, right. Force that down, I suppose, like that. And then, uh, look at the quality of this. Stay in place. Right, let's go and try it. So here it is, guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting great things, realistically. And it's it's kind of falling apart a bit. It's not the most well thought out uh, idea. I mean, I mean, it's literally falling apart everywhere. It, angles that I don't even know about. I, literally, it's falling every, I, It's It's, uh, this is great. Now it's got fluff on, that's gonna Right, okay, should, I should have got a plate, bag, that'll do. Okay guys, here we go, this is the fruit bag cheeseburger. I've gone for plain, plain cheeseburger, so it's meat, cheese, grapes and apples in a bun. Here we go, fruit bag cheeseburger. Wow, okay then, let's get a bit with the grape as well. I mean, it's very odd. Mm. I mean, it's not even unpleasant, to be honest. There's some grape action there. Mm. The grapes are a bit squidgy. So, the texture of the grape is a bit more traditional in a burger, because it kind of gives like a tomato vibe. It just feels like tomato texture, 100%. But the flavour doesn't doesn't quite meld as well as the, <laughs> the apple. The juiciness and the crisp freshness of the apple is actually quite good. I mean, hmm. The thing is, you can get like burgers with a pineapple slice on. So this isn't a hundred miles removed from that. This is an apple, that's a pineapple. Yeah? I mean, I finished it. Hmm. Interesting product. Okay, let's just confirm that this is probably the best thing you can do with a fruit bag from McDonald's. I mean, you're not going to eat it on its own. That's ridiculous. And... Actually, it's not a car crash. It's not too bad. The apple is not bad with the burger. It kind of combines with the cheese and the meat. Highlights the different tones and you've got the sweetness and the juiciness and probably the best thing about it is that nice bit of crunch. Bit of crunch. That it gives it. A nice little bite through and that's good. The grape, kind of just like tomato texture, like I said, and flavour-wise doesn't work quite as well. But the crisp, sweet freshness of the apple does actually cut through the burger fairly well. That said, it's not like, I'm not going to be rushing to do this again, not least because I don't want to support McDonald's efforts to try and bring fruit bags to the population of 
the places that sell it. But I didn't not enjoy it. It was like fine. It was good. I suppose I'd give it like three stars. And yes, this is uploaded on April Fool's Day, but that's not an April Fool. You know, many people, in fact most people, will not watch this on April Fool's Day. So, you know, that's a thing. You've just watched that video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's a stupid idea. I mean, really it is. Do follow us on Instagram, at Fruckgram. We take photos of new products. For example, Jammy Ring Ice Cream we recently found from Tesco. And that was really, really good. So check out the review for that shortly. Won't be up yet. And, as I said, subscribe to the life of Michael Jameson. Get to see what I got up to on this day. I'm about to go out to Tesco and I'm taking the camera with me. So I'm going to try and get some sneaky vibes -age. Not sneaky because it's fine, you know. Just do some filming in Tesco. So thanks again for watching and subscribe for more videos. Cheers. I actually filmed a behind the scenes video on my... I actually filmed a behind the scenes video on my... I actually...